MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news via video media. Steve, Batchflow, you're celebrating something special this year. Tell us more. Yes, um, this year we're celebrating our 30th year in business, which we're very proud of. OK, and if you had to summarise Batchflow here, what, what do you do? Are you turn parts, mill parts, a collective? I suppose fundamentally, traditionally, we would have been called a turning shop, but we we sort of expanded and we're, we're more varied than that. We Predominantly, we're CNC turn, turn parts, but as, as you're aware, these days, CNC turning has moved on so much with, with the capability of things like Nakamura's, the mill turns, um, sliding head machinery. Uh, so we can offer complete finished uh, one-hit machine components to our customers. And take from uh, well the last 30 years, how has the business grown since it was started? What have you got now that you didn't have then? Well, I guess 30 years ago, my father started this business um, and really he was running a shop of, uh, started with one capstan lathe. So things have really certainly moved on from that. Um, but I suppose over the years with uh, technology, we went from ca capstan lathes to uh, automatic lathes. Um, the first CNC machine was a hard inch machine, an old talent machine. Uh, and that was the first stage of the CNC and we're now a full 100% CNC shop. Um, getting into sliding head was another step forward for the business. And is that how you remain competitive by investing? I mean, you say you took on another unit as well. Yeah. Is it all about growth to you? You've obviously come into the business and, you, and you're now the managing director. Right, yeah. where, where are you going? Well, yeah, it's been a steady growth for the last 30 years. As you say, we expanded into the second unit next door as well. Um, and we're, we're sort of looking to continually grow and invest to stay on top of the uh, uh, investment to, to remain competitive. We're, uh, we're in some very fast moving industries, things like motorsport and automotive. Uh, and being able to be flexible and uh, being able to move with the times is key to that. You know? And is there any drawings that come in here and you think, oh, I can't do that? I guess there's always things that, you know, challenge you. Um, and um, but invariably, where even when you you feel like oh, that's one th one thing too many, we've usually found a way around it. And uh, and obviously with the latest bits of equipment, it, it takes it makes we still get challenging drawings, but the equipment can sometimes just make it that little bit easier. Well, congratulations on the first 30 years. I wish you success for the second 30, and I'm sure you've got something great planned for you and your team. Yeah. So well done, Steve. Thank you very much, Paul.